Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take another problem from 2015 Iran Mass Olympiad. Here in this problem, I have a squared plus b squared equals to 8, and we are going to find the maximum value that 2 times a plus b minus ab is going to get. We know that a and b are real numbers. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem now. To solve it, I'm going to start with using an identity here. Since I'm looking for the value that I have for AB in the original problem, I'm going to focus on that for now. To start, let's use the identity that you are seeing here. On the left hand side, I have A plus B to the power of 2, and on the right hand side, I have A squared plus B squared plus 2 times AB. Now I already know that a squared plus b squared is 8. Replacing that is going to help me to find the value that I have for a b based on a plus b. It's going to be half of power of 2 of a plus b minus 4. Now let's see how we are going to use this now. Since I have a b, I'm going to replace that in the original problem. In the original problem, I was looking for 2 times a plus b minus ab. Replacing ab is going to give me 2 times a plus b minus 1 over 2, a plus b to the power of 2 plus 4. Now I need to find the maximum possible value of this expression. But to find the maximum possible value that this expression is going to take, I need to consider one condition. I need to know what values a and b are going to take. To connect it to the original problem, remember a squared plus b squared was 8. So we know that a and b are going to be on a circle with center at the origin and the radius equals to 2 radical 2. Because of that, I'm going to find now the maximum possible of this expression under one condition. A and B are going to be on this circle that you are seeing here. Now let's go back to the value that I'm going to find. Let's take a look at the expression. In this expression, I only have A plus B. I don't have A or B alone. I have A plus B as the unknown variable. So I'm going to use x for a plus b now. This means I'm going to find maximum of 2x minus 1 over 2x squared plus 4. And I know that x is already a plus b. Now there is something here that you need to know. I know a and b are going to be on this circle. What value a plus b is going to take and what's the maximum of that? I'm going to claim that the maximum possible value that a plus b is going to take is going to be 4. And similarly, the minimum possible value that a plus b is going to take is going to be negative 4. I will leave you to you to prove that. but. Intuitively, you can follow what I have in this circle. You can see that these are indeed correct. Now let's move on and continue with the discussion. So here I have two new facts. First of all, max of a plus b is going to be 4 and second, mean of a plus b is going to be negative 4. I'm going to find max of 2 times x minus x squared over 2 plus 4. The condition that I have is going to be x is between negative 4 and 4 including those numbers. This is going to be an optimization problem now. You can take different approaches. Let's see how we are going to solve that now. Obviously you can take the derivative but I'm not going to do that. Instead I'm going to plot the expression that I have here, conditioned under 
x is going to be between negative 4 and 4. If you plot it, you are going to see that the expression is going to take a maximum value and that is going to happen at x equals to 2 and the maximum value of the expression is going to be 6. Remember, x here is a plus b and the expression here is the actual expression that we were going to find its maximum value. So we actually solved the problem and we found the maximum possible value that the expression itself is going to take and that value is 6. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more problems from different mass competitions, please kindly let me know. Please subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you in the next video. This is the SQRT channel.